really is doing it. Oh my god. Oh my. All right, midnight. You, you're the. Right, are you the entertainer? Are you a, a crowd pleaser? Like, I may be a palumane on the outside, but inside, I am monkey. All right, let's see. Let's see how this works. I feel like Pac-Man, uh, he's like that really good weight for combos, as you can see, for DK. So it, when DK gets a hit, it's going to be really good. Oh, he missed the platform. All right. All I, I just saw all I need to know about this matchup. Pac-Man can die at, <laughs> at around 50 to the cargo throw up there. Oh. DK is so big that if he's not shielding that properly, he can die to the throw really easily. He's going for the insane forward airs off stage. It's kind of working right now. Ledge trap? Oh, you're crazy. Oh. Dude, that was sick. What? Yo, wait. Midnight? Oh, my God. He's still going. Oh, my. Midnight's going insane right now. He's actually... Pushing the aggression as hard as possible. Pac Man's not really getting that much time to set up, man. Pretty nuts. Oh, there's the grab. Up air? No, no, no. Not, I, not, I, not, I, yeah, yeah, not, not gonna work there. It's still a really scary percent for Pac Man, though. And the way that uh, Midnight's playing, he, he looks. He's like he's instilling the fear in a Kiwi's playstyle right now. Wow, parrying the hydrant? Nice. He can't hit the hydrant back though. He's missing a lot of his moves, but it's fine. Oh, oh caught him. That's why. Yeah, I caught Kiwi, unfortunately, being up there at the wrong time. That's the thing about playing this matchup. Sometimes you do want to be very aggressive against DK and because you're able to run over him. Forward smash? Yeah, that's good on the getup. Also cover shield as well. Like I mentioned it before, Kiwi is really smart about that. You can cover a lot of options just for going for Bell at the ledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nika is so big too. It's really hard for me to get around that. Or right, Kiwi going to work on this stuff. Oh my god, I grabbed him out of the up B and just <laughs> up aired him for 58. Pac-Man getting juggled like crazy right now. Okay, she has the Galax team right now too. Oh, wait, that's the Bell, I think. Uh, really bad at V, but doesn't get super hard punished. Oh! Alright, Bill's back. Nice, nice. Player player smash, I'll yeah. take it. Yeah. It is. yeah. All from reading that directional air dodge landing. I'm oh, sorry, the air dodge landing. Mm -hmm. Man, that the DK big... though was very impressive. Even though I uh, lost that game, I yeah. didn't think it would be that close, honestly. No, and the big thing here for that situation, it was just the landing. Like, if... If Vinet hadn't gone for the landing that he did, he probably would have been able to survive because you do have some end frames of that air dodge. You have less end lag from air dodge than you do from directional air dodge. That's something to very be aware of, when, especially when you're trying to recover back on the stage. DK doesn't have really good landing options, so that was something for Kiwi to understand. Okay, because of his poor landing options, I can punish him here. Yeah, she's just really clutch about finding the bell kills as well. I, I feel like yeah. she just knows when people want to air dodge or spot dodge or do something that's like really panicky at that high percent. She just gets it. Yeah, we stay in DK though. DK, ride or die it looks like for, for midnight. And I, I respect know, man. That. Sometimes you want that fat W, man. There's a big entrance of MSM. You want that on your resume. Yeah, or you can have DK on your resume. Uh, I think that's... No, that says a lot. Oh my god, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's DK. Right, right now, though, Kiwi getting set up. I really like the use of the down air cross up, too. Right when uh, the DK is stuck in between Pac Man, Dare, and the Hydrant, it's actually so much pressure. 16%. Ooh! Caught him reaching. I don't know the names of the, the ghosts, so I, I don't know which one the red one is, but he Me went either. right into that. Yeah, some some god level commentator knows that. Oh! Oh no. Oh no. He doesn't know the percent on Pac Man. Things have t uh, taken a, a turn for Midnight here, not being able to get the early kill. 
Blue Shield yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Typical option you would see from Pac-Man, especially at the ledge. It's good too for Kiwi because you need to get out of that situation. Especially where Midnight is. There's a lot that you can do to take care of your stock at that percentage. Oh, another near out of shield, catching oh. Midnight swinging too much. Yeah, forcing that Ooh. low recovery. Oh, not enough. Forward smash is not enough to do it here, but able to slip through the cracks there on the uppy. Still recovery. Magma so actually didn't care about the spinning Kong at all. Like, I'm here. Yeah, that, that oh. Hydrant pretty much had that key with that situation. DK just wants to get in. Pac Man oh, is throwing no. things. Finally, the spinning Kong works. And that was so good, too, because the way that the, the, the bell was set up, oh. it was really good for Hydrant to even push the water to push the bell to DK out of shield. Just narrowly missing the mark there. Nonetheless, yeah. Kiwi still gets the lead. Mm -hmm. Another bell kill. Yeah, Pac Man's actually like to go for the, the Hydrant boosted, like, fruit tosses just to throw people off. Yeah. It's really, really odd uh, interaction that you only see in a Pac-Man match, really. Just a slugfest going on between these two. Up air, yep. What a great confirm after midnight. Second one, <laughs> this is going to force Kiwi to go towards oh. the ledge. Yep, and that's good for that back air. Still on great the recovery here. But yeah, that was a great recovery from Kiwi. I mean, I try to find an opening. Yeah, look at the way that Midnight is playing. You can see it in, in his ability to just push Pac-Man off to the ledges because you have to think about your landing options. Well, DK and Pac-Man have really poor landing options. Pac-Man's only being Hydrant after that. You could definitely see Midnight I don't, I don't read that. I think Pac-Man has really good landing options versus DK at least. Oh, at least DK, yeah. Oh no, oh. what was that? Huh? What was that? <laughs> I like blinked and he just like dipped off the screen. Yeah, oh. he just like... I don't know uh, if he buffered like an up air and unfortunately like that's what happened, but... Alright. Real question is why is Pac-Man allowed to have good aerials? Man, I ask myself that all the time. <laughs> but, Yo, man, that's, that's, that's actual facts. Why does Rob have one of the best boxing tools? Why does Pac-Man have good arrows? I have no idea. Oh, you gotta go? What? The what? Oh, what? Wait, what? <laughs> All man, right. <laughs> I'm out of here, actually. I'm over it. Getting camped by Pac-Man and DK. This isn't as fun as I thought it would be. All uh, right, I actually, well, I'm actually, I'm gone. Later, everyone. All right. Well, well, okay. All right, then. Goodbye, Midnight. Thank you for picking DK. That was really funny. Your palu is very good.